Hi, I'm Todd Drevich from Hockey Techniques. Today we're going to work on some off-ice shooting to help you during the off-season. Uh, we're going to work on three wrist shots, one facing away from the net as if I was turning my hip, and two as if I was skating towards the net. I'll go over the technique. Timothy's going to go over the full shot in full motion. The wrist shot, when I turn my hip, takes the longest. If I've got a lot of time, it does allow me to get most of my body weight behind the shot and get a lot of power on it. First of all, as I step up to a board, I'm going to have to take my step and it would be as if I was turning my hip towards the net. Notice the net is in front of me and for a player that would be taking the shot, I would be pulling the puck back. Here's my back heel. The puck is on the end of the board lined up behind my back heel so that as I stepped, I would be now facing away from the net. But what this is going to do is it's going to allow me to transfer my weight towards the net. It's going to allow me to transfer my weight towards the net. For shooting purposes, while working in the driveway with my hip facing away from the net, I'm going to make sure that the puck starts it's on the heel of the stick to slightly behind the midpoint. We want the puck to go from heel to toe, so it's going to travel the distance of the blade. My hands are out away from my body. I do not want my hand on my hip. What would happen there is the stick would go kind of like a windshield wiper would in an arc. I want that stick to be able to have the ability to come across my body. And again, the puck is behind my back foot. The back foot is the foot furthest from the net. So I make sure that my toes are facing the board, hands out away from the board, away from my body, puck on the heel of the stick. I literally should be able to pick up this front foot, the foot closest to the net, because all of my weight is on this back leg. I have a nice deep knee bend, so that as I take a step towards the net, I'm literally pushing off. If I was on the ice, I'd be pushing off this inside edge, pushing towards the net. You'll notice that when Timothy does the full shot, he's going to be opening up his toe towards the net, so that he would be able to continue skating and go get his rebound. You'll also notice a flex of the stick, my bottom hand going to slide down the shaft of the stick so that I can get a little bit more weight on that puck. Wrist shot's going to come across my body and when I follow through, if I look in a straight line down the shaft of my stick, that would be where my follow through is. I'm literally pointing to where I want the puck to go. The second shot we're going to work on is when I'm facing the net, I'm skating towards the net, I want to keep my feet moving towards the net and I want my body to end up there so I can go get my rebound. It's a very awkward feeling shot, a lot of players do not work on that. In the driveway, make sure once again the puck is behind the back foot. If you want to work on your stick tailing, you can always start with the puck in front of you, pull it back, and I go right into my shot. But that puck should start behind my back foot. My bottom hand, once again, is going to slide down on the shaft to the stick, down so that I get a little bit more power and flex out of the stick. And for this one, we're going to take a step as if I was literally skating towards the neck. So I'm going to take the foot furthest from the net with one motion. I take one step towards the net. You can notice now my inside leg is nice and bent, almost touching the ground. The stick comes across, and there's my follow through. If I want a low shot, I'm going to follow through low. If I wanted to go top corner, I would follow through a little bit higher. Once again, pointing my blade at the target where I want it to go.
current shot is probably the most awkward shot of all of them. I'm going to be shooting off the improper foot, or the wrong foot as most coaches would call it. However, in the game, you end up taking this shot probably 50% of the time. As I'm skating, say I'm slightly off target on the net, it's the foot that is closest to the puck. I'm going to be able to pick up the foot furthest from the puck now. So you can see all my weight is on the leg closest to the puck. Once again, I want to make sure the puck is not out in front of me. I want to make sure that that puck is behind me, starting on the heel of the stick to slightly behind the mid. My bottom hand once again slides down. Nice deep knee bend. So as I take that shot, I should be able to get a little flex on that stick, even lean into it slightly. And comes across, and I get the follow through. If I was on the ice, I'd be continuing to skate towards the net. Thank you for watching this segment of off-ice shooting. We're going to have many more off-ice shooting type drills, stick handling and passing, as well as on-ice power skating. Please subscribe to our YouTube account and have full access.